can sort out a little bit. Or the patella, rather. This was one tough sword. I cut through some heavy stuff before using this thing, and I sold it twice. <laughs> but I am never, ever again. Never, ever again. I'll sell it. Can't even remember how that got on there. <coughs> it's been over a year, um, about a year since I've had it, and I bought it back the other day. Before that, I had it for a couple of years, and I sold it to somebody, and I asked them if they happened to want to sell it back. So I sold it. I got it back for the same price, and which I forgot what it was. And I also had a O Katana an older version and I had a new uh, old katana and a kid came around and did some yard work for me and I gave them a new old katana and I had a <coughs> older old katana which are from both from cold steel just like this one is and uh, I don't know who I sold it to I forgot completely I guess it happens when you're not paying attention too much to things like that, and you're 43 years old. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, just thought I'd show this on there. It's, uh, nice. Oh. I like the grain on here. You know, it is a zeroed, the edge is zeroed out, you know, the, so it's not, it doesn't have like a step in it, it's like, um, doesn't go like down and make a point, it's, it's, it's not a conular, conical shape, it's a V-shape, wedge-shaped, you can tell by when you do this here with it. Because the beefiness is here below the floor, and that kind of somehow or another, I think, when you go to chop and you hit something, or another it is like the vibrations come out through the floor or something. I don't know why I think that, but it is a very tough katana, a very strong katana. And again, I am not selling this thing ever again. <laughs> It's got a wide Kasaki too, you know. And uh, anyway, just wanted to share that. I don't know what that is on the tip. I'm going to take some steel wool over it. Polish it up a little bit. It's got that bamboo shavings on there from the Sega. Alright, we'll see ya.